Good morning and a happy Friday. Today is the last day of your first distance learning schedule. You made it, yay! <laughs> Um, this was new for all of us, so I'm glad that we were able to make it this far. Um, as you know, we will be continuing with our distance learning, not next week because that's our spring break, but the week after. So by then, by April 6th, I need all of you to join me on Google Classroom because your assignments will be partially in your packets and partially on Google Classroom and I will have lesson videos and reading materials and instructions for things on Google Classroom all in one place and you guys can talk to each other there. So I would really like it if all of us could be a part of that. Um, for today though, you read The Swift Footed Atalanta yesterday and I have the video that goes with it. If you haven't had a chance to look at that, go ahead. It's not too bad, I think. Uh, that means that today you have the final activity with this right here. There are only four questions. Now, I would like for you to try to answer these four questions. And I will be posting the answers to all of today's work by 4 p.m. today, along with all of the answers to this math packet. We've been waiting for this one. So 4 p.m. today, all of the answers will come out for everything that's left, except for what we did yesterday. That's coming out this morning. Now, for the other math packet, the last thing that you have to do is add like fractions together. They have the same denominators, and that's the only thing that we've learned how to do so far. So hopefully that's fine. And it gives you enough space underneath each of the questions if you want to draw out your fractions. Drawing out your fractions can be very helpful. Now you finished your reading packet at this point. Your reading packet should be completely done. So today is your reading choice. You can read your own book, your favorite book, whatever book you want for 20 minutes, just like we would normally do with a reading log. Um, if you're on Epic Books already, you can use that time um, to search new books on Epic Books. They have a lot of different options. They have nonfiction, they have fiction, they have books that read it out loud to you, they have books that read along with you. There's a whole bunch of different things on there, so feel, feel free to check that out too. Now, the only thing that might be tricky today is the last page in your science packet. This page is a playground lab report. Now, when we made this packet, we weren't thinking that things were going to be the way they are now. Um, so if a playground is out of an option for you, then if you could just try to do something similar to what it's asking, maybe at home or in the backyard, or maybe you have something that, that can work inside, you have options. It doesn't have to be a playground for this. But if you want to use that time to go to a playground before, you know, we can't anymore for now, um, that would be great. You know, take that time and learn a few new things, you know? Um, other than that, so far, I know that Morgan has completed the entire opinion writing packet. Congratulations, Morgan. That's awesome. So proud of you. Um, if anybody else has been doing that opinion writing packet, I would love to see it. Or if you want me to wait and be surprised and see your packet when we pick everything up on Monday, I guess I'll be okay with that too. I like surprising you, so it's okay if you want to surprise me. Um, I hope that during spring break you guys have at least something fun to do and take that time and relax, you know, you get a break from all of the work at home, you get a break from trying to figure out all of these online things and if you want to continue looking at those things online you can. Um, the Sun Dog Challenge is still going to go on all the way until April 6th. Um, so I mean you have options. You do. This will be the last video that I give you for a while. Uh, and I think the next one that you'll be getting from me 
will either be Sunday or Monday morning, uh, right after spring break. So I hope you enjoy your time. I know that I will try to enjoy my time. And I just wanted to let you know that I miss you. And I hope we'll be able to see each other sooner rather than later. Bye. Good luck, guys.